Hey guys, I want to talk to you about a very important three-letter word, joy. Joy. In a world, in, in America, it's all about life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. But it seems happiness seems to elude so many people because happiness, in fact, is based on what happens. It's circumstantial. Uh, so uh, it can be, uh, you know, at one point it could be there, another point gone. But uh, the thing about joy is that it is uh, constant. It's a constant. Uh, these three will abide, it says in 1 Corinthians 13. Faith, hope, and love. The greatest is love. And then in Romans chapter, I think, 16, it says the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but it's righteousness, peace, and joy. So faith, hope, and love, righteousness, peace, and joy. These are constants, constant uh, elements. And, and the fruit of the Spirit, it says in Galatians chapter 5, is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. These are abidingly uh, solid elements in our lives. They're, they're, not they're not fleeting. They're not temporal. They are permanent components that come in the culture of the kingdom of God. And the Bible says Jesus was anointed with gladness above his brethren. Uh, one of my favorite paintings or concepts of Jesus is him laughing, you know, the joy on him. I saw paintings of him where he was, he looked like he was anemic and he was all wimpy and he was, you know, unsubstantial. No, he's mighty. He's, he's robust. And uh, God sits in heaven and laughs, you know, like he rejoices over us with singing. Uh, in, in, and if you think about that from the standpoint of his constancy and his his bearing of, uh, uh, you know, his, his, his nature, his makeup, and the, the makeup of the kingdom of God, righteousness, peace, and joy. Uh, and I think about this verse, and we quote it a lot, uh, in the, in, in, uh, Christians do, in, in Nehemiah chapter 8, verse 10, it says at the last part, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Boy, it's a strength. And in the Proverbs, it says a merry heart does good like a medicine. And, you know, there's even an argument now where uh, laughter is medicine. Uh, I saw a stand-up comedian make fun of this, that you can trick the dumb part of your brain into thinking you're happy by laughing. You know, and I, they, so they took this neuroscience uh, realization and then they, they flipped it like they do with a parody, you know. And I thought, man, don't take that away from us. But it, it was funny what he said, you know. But uh, I actually don't think it's a mind trick. I think that God designed us in the original pattern in his image to have this exhilaration of our existence. It's a joy. You know, for the joy set before Jesus, it caused him to endure the cross, despise the shame, and he he sat, he's seated at the right hand of God. He, it had helped him motor through uh, the worst thing of his life, dying on the cross. And my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? But he had joy set before him. I want to encourage you to set joy before you this year, like uh, the joy of, of pleasing the Father, the joy that faith pleases God, that repentance pleases God, that follow through pleases God, that crucifying your flesh and denying your flesh pleases God. And just go for it, you know, and realize it's a strengthener. And <laughs> just rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice joy. God bless you.